Hey YouTube, this is Matthew Morgan. Come back to there's a couple things I wanted to say. Um, okay. One weed ain't no damn drug for all the misconception that motherfuckers assume. Weed ain't a drug. God actually created weed way back in the fucking beginning. He created weed to help humanity reconnect to him. And weed has a chemical called THC in it, which is supposed to balance out your chakras or your chakras and put you at a calm state of mind and help you think about shit that the normal human mind wouldn't think about. And to put it this way, he made it for the Native Americans so they could how you say smoke it, meditate, speak to him about whatever was troubling them, and then they got signs from him about what, however they were supposed to handle shit. And people say, oh, weed's a drug, weed's the devil's drug. No, it's not. Weed is not a damn drug. God made weed. Fuck what niggas tell you. Like all that shit scientists, oh, weed's not good for you, weed. No, nigga, weed is actually the best thing for your body because weed cures a lot, of, a lot of diseases in you. And just so it's understood, the only reason you have disease is like, with that one comedian Godfrey said, disease comes from a thing called dis-ease, or when your body's always stressing about every damn thing going on around it. The more stress your body goes through, and here's a little secret that people don't tell you. The more stress your body takes on, your body has to fight and work harder just to maintain its own being. And the harder it has to fight to deal with the stress, it accumulates sickness over time. Because then all that stress starts eating up at your damn immune system, which breaks your body down faster and faster and faster and faster. Then you end up having to go to the drug dealer in the damn hospital who has a degree to sell you shit just to kill you or turn you into some type of addict. Because it's made for your body to stress so you can get addicted to that medication and then your insurance just pays. Basically, the equivalency of you buying drugs off a nigga off a street corner is the insurance that you're giving a doctor. It's all the same shit. But anyway, all a doctor is, is he's a not well educated. He's just a higher paid drug dealer, basically. And um, he's just paid to keep your ass sick. And there's only like 1% of doctors that want to see you healthy. But the rest just tell you, ain't shit wrong with you. Ain't shit wrong with you. Then you keep going back. And then they keep telling you ain't shit wrong with you just to keep your ass coming back. Because they know the second you find out the reason you're sick is because you're fucking stressed out. Your body taking on way too much stress and it's break. Literally, the stress is breaking you down your fucking immune system, which is killing you very fucking quickly. That's why weed was made, because there's chemicals in weed that actually help all them illnesses and them sicknesses and shit that you got going on with you. It helps relieve you of that shit. That's why America tries so hard to make that shit illegal, because they know if a motherfucker smoke weed, there's a lot of shit that will get cured. Now, I'm going to tell you some real shit. Motherfuckers will say weed's a drug. No, weed grew from the earth. That ain't no damn drug. What's a drug is the shit that's made in labs. Like crack, heroin, PCP, LSD, all that kind of shit. That's drug. You know it's a drug if it just pops out of nowhere and it just ends up in somebody's fucking society. And a little known fact is so the shit's understood. Crack was established just to break the fucking black community and make sure niggas age horribly because one little fact of the shit, the reason why crack was made was so black people would get addicted to that shit because scientists discovered that black people got some of the best fucking genetics, so they made that so when we ingest that shit, 
goes into your body, sucks all the liquid out your body, puts all these cracks and divots and shit in your skin and eats up your fucking immune system, makes you lose weight, and this shit eventually kills you. That's why the shit's called crack. And the reason why they call them people on the street that take the shit a crackhead because when they keep ingesting that shit, it puts cracks in their head and in their lips because it's sucking out your damn body water and making you lose weight and making your ass skinny. But anyway, that's a fucking drug. Weed is not a goddamn drug. Fuck what niggas is telling you. But to tell you the real shit, then scientists start seeing the effects of weed, so they start taking it in labs and chemically altering the shit, mixing it with other stuff, and then bringing it back out to the community, and then selling it back to people. And then you notice, if you, if you really want to know what weed was made by God versus the weed that humans made, the weed that God made, it helps you, how you say, be calm and relax, laugh at a lot of shit, think outside your norm, and eat a lot. That's all that shit does. Opens up your third eye and makes you think about a lot of shit. The way humans made, that shit starts making you trip, go crazy, and just turn into a fucking psychopath. That shit ain't God. Just so it's understood. But then, it's like, you start smoking it too damn much, then you start to become addicted, basically. But, like I said, people keep saying weed's a drug. No, the fuck it ain't. God, that's, weed's actually the one plant that God made from his own spirit and gave it to humans to allow humans to, A, when you smoke weed, you know this, you get too relaxed to hate people. You get too relaxed to do anything stupid. Weed helps you get along with people. Helps you calm down. Helps you laugh at shit better. Makes food taste better. Shit like that. So, if you're ever wondering why weed got illegal. Because niggas found out weed got perk to it. And all that kind of shit. But, you know. You're going to try to arrest a nigga for selling something that's. Should have just been legal in the first fucking place, but whatever. Forgot I had another point to that, but uh, yeah. Um, what was my other point? But yeah, anyway, <sighs> you kind of get a sense of reality. Like I said, if you want to know a drug versus a plant, plant comes out ground, drug comes out laboratory. So, all these new advanced fucking drugs you see, and that shit's made in a lab by scientists who put it out in the black community just to experiment with it, just to see how the shit affects people. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, let's make this shit, put it out into the world, but first we're going to put it outside the United States, like any, like martial law and everything the fuck else. They put that shit outside the states, test it outside the states, and once they see how it affects outside the state, then they bring it in the state. Afterwards, they test it inside the state. If they see how the shit affects bad or good, they take it back, retest it again, and then they keep bringing it out and putting it back in until they find a way to manage it so they don't overdo anything. Oh, that rain is heaven needed. Oh, ain't that a bitch?